How to fix update KV5074109 failed to install in Windows 11 25H2 or 24H2. Hello friends, follow the steps in the methods to fix the issue. The first method is try installing the update from Microsoft Update Catalog. Go to the video description and click on the link to Microsoft Update Catalog. After clicking the link, you will reach this page. Here are multiple files. Find the file compatible with your system. For this, click on Start. Go to Settings. Click on System. Scroll down. Click on About. Here is System Type. Mine is 64 bit operating system and x64 based processor. Check yours and find the file compatible with your system. For 25H2 H64 based system, this file is compatible with my system. Once found, click on the respective download button. This is the file KV5074109. Click on this link and let the file download. Once downloaded, click on the File Explorer icon from the taskbar. Go to Downloads, which is generally the download location. Right click on the just downloaded MSU file and select Open. Preparing the installation. Do you want to install the following Windows software update? Click on Yes. Follow the on screen instructions to complete the installation. The next method is fix problems using Windows Update. Click on Start. Go to Settings. System. Scroll down. Click on Recovery. For fix problems using Windows Update, click on Reinstall now. Click on the OK button. Once you will click on OK, the repair version of Windows 11 25 H2 will start downloading. You can see in this section, once the downloading is 100% completed, a restart now pop-up will appear. Click on the option restart now and let the repair version install. Then try to install the security update. If the issue still persists, reset Windows update components. For this, click on start, click on settings. Then click on Windows Update and turn off this setting. Get the latest update as soon as they are available. Turn off this setting. Then close the settings window. Now click on Search. Type Services. Click on Services. Scroll down and go to Windows Update. Right click on this service, select properties, change the startup type to disabled. For this, click on this drop down and select disabled. Then click on stop here, click on apply, click on ok. Then close the services window. Now launch file explorer. For this, click on the file explorer icon from the taskbar. Go to this PC. If this PC is not selected here, go to C drive. Open the Windows folder. Here look for the software distribution folder. This one. Right click on this folder and select delete. The folder is deleted. Close the file explorer window and restart your computer. After restarting, again open services window, click on search, type services, click on services, go to the windows update service, here right click on this service, select properties and change the startup type to automatic. Then click on start here. 
click on OK. Now look for App Readiness Service. Right click on this service. Select Properties. Make sure that a startup type is automatic here. If it is not, then change it to automatic and click on start if it is highlighted. Click on apply, click on ok. Do the same with background intelligent transfer service. Right click on this service, select properties, change the startup type to automatic. If start is highlighted, click on it, click on apply, click on ok. Do the same with cryptographic services. This one, right click on this service, select properties, change the startup type to automatic if it is not, and click on start if it is highlighted. If everything is fine, like me, then click on OK. Close the services window and then check for updates. If the problem still occurs, run System Files Checker and DISM tool. For this, click on Search, type CMD, right click on the result, select Run as Administrator, click on it, go to the video description, you will find these commands there in the description. Copy the first line of command, this is System Files Checker command. Paste into the command prompt and press enter. Let the process 100% complete. Once completed, run the DISM restore health command. Copy the command from the description area. Paste into the command prompt and hit enter. Once completed, Close the command prompt and restart your computer. Then try to install the security update. If any of the methods doesn't work, you will have to perform in place upgrade. To perform in place upgrade, launch a browser. Type Windows 11 download. Press intro. Click on this link, scroll down to the section Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO for x64 devices and click on Select Download. Select this option for x64 devices. If your device is ARM64 based, then click on this link and follow the steps accordingly. For x64 device, click on Confirm. Then choose the product language. Check the product language from settings app. For this, click on start. Settings. Go to time and language. Language and region. Windows display language is English United States. This is the product language. Check the product language from here on your system. Click on the drop down and select the language which you have found on settings set. Click on confirm. Click on 64 bit download. Let the download complete. Once completed, go to the download location. For me, it is downloaded on desktop. Right click on the ISO file. Select mount. On the open file security warning pop up, click on open. Right click on setup.exe and select open. Uncheck this box. Checking this box will take much more time, so uncheck it and click on next. For applicable notes and license terms, Click on accept. On ready to install window, click on install. 
your computer will restart a few times during this installation and the security update will be installed along with. That's all friends. Thanks for watching the video.